Hello, podcast listeners. We know podcasts are a great way to catch up on a program that you may have missed on KSJE, and it's provided as a free service of this radio station. But you know, KSJE is now listener-supported, and so while you enjoy this podcast, we hope that you'll also take some time to join KSJE. Become a member today. It's quite easy to do. Just go to our website at ksje.com slash support and pick the level of support that best matches your budget. Thanks again for listening. Here's your podcast. Joining me now in our visual radio studio to talk a little bit about the upcoming Animus Valley Balloon Rally in Durango. Mary Hayes is here, one of the committee members. Mary, welcome to KSJE. Good to have you here. Thank you. You've been involved with this rally for it's since its inception, right? Yes, for, for several years. a number of years. And so, uh, so this is happening on the third weekend of October, right? Yes, it is. And it'll be uh, happening up in Durango. And so the pictures that we're going to show everyone in a minute who are watching us on Facebook and YouTube are really wonderful. They're from a calendar project from a year ago, right? Uh, the calendar's been going for a while. Okay. And uh, so this year's calendar will feature photos from last year's rally. Right. And uh, Yvonne Lashmet, who was the um, uh, Durango train photographer for many, many, many years, right. does this. Okay. And it's beautiful. And, uh, and then you are wearing a button, or, I'm sorry, a button, a pin. They're going to kick me out of the ballooning ca um, category here. A pin that you brought, and we're showing that also because that's another great example of this rally because it's so unique having it in the mountains in Durango. It is beautiful, um, the fall colors and all, and uh, so we do have this pin that people can get. Yes, and so that's one of the souvenirs that's available. This calendar, I know, is another um, product that will be produced from the uh, rally, right? And that's at the rally. Right. And there may be a few other items, and we're going to have a table set up at each launch and at each glow um, um, near the table where um, the music will be happening from. Okay. So people can buy pins for five and calendars I think are 12. There might be some other like shirts and things there too. Right. And this is uh, again coming up October 18th through the 20th in, uh, in Durango. And where do people gather? I mean, where is the launching point? The launch field is north of town it's um, at the turnoff to Animus Elementary. So, uh, but, but what I really need to convey here is about parking. Yes. Yes. That's important for any it, balloon rally, I think. Very important. And for the safety of people coming to see it, the safety of those who are involved in this rally. So um, the public parking is in the field on the south side of Hermosa Meadows Road and 550. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and on Sunday and Saturday, they can park in the parking lot at Animus Valley Elementary, but not on school day Friday. That so is a no-no. Right. Don't do it then. Okay. But, uh, it's a great place to park on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and uh, do not park along the highway. We, ha we have done that in the past, but that's not safe. Right. And so uh, please don't park on the highway. Um, and so since we're starting out early in the morning and, and fall weather is here, you know, wear warm clothes, tennis shoes or boots, do not wear flip-flops and sandals. That will not be cool. Right. Um, even if you think you'll look cool, it won't be cool. No, that's right. Um, bring a flashlight in the evening for the glow um, at the field. Um, we're having a glow on the field Saturday evening. Make okay. sure you bring a flashlight for that uh, because when they are not glowing, things are very dark. So Right. Everything is weather, per weather permitting, and uh, so we'll do our best and provide a wonderful event. Very good. I'm going to show a picture of a glow from maybe last year, year before. Um, but again, it's a, it's a great event. This balloon probably may or may not be at the at rally this year, but another one like it, and they'll still be glows, right? Yes. They look so great when they're lit up like that. It, it's a wonderful thing. That is Humpty Dumpty, and he is not able to make it this year. But okay. we will have a couple of balloons downtown in front of the train station down on that end uh, that will be glowing. And people... Um, just uh, come on down in there. Lots of people come to that. It's really fun. Our music guy will be there, and this merchandise will be next to the music table down there also. You kind of take over the town, don't you, this weekend? You're all over the place, right? Well, uh, especially during the glow on um, 
downtown on Friday evening. Uh, it really packs that. And so people need to get their cars off of the, in that, that whole area that mm -hmm. are parked in there. There'll be signs up, you know, don't right. park after whatever hour. And that's a serious thing, especially in that lot that's at the, uh, at the big curve uh, as main curves around uh, there in front of the train station. That one um, is real important that people clear out of there because that's the place where one of that's these That's where it takes place, will, one of them. Uh, yeah. One of them will blow okay. from that spot. Very good. I want to show a couple other photos again. These are wonderful photos of the uh, balloons, and they're so colorful, and it's so pretty, um, again, in October with the foliage turning and the bright blue skies that we enjoy. And on that photo, you can see that wispy look. That's the end of the flame uh, going oh, right. in there to, to heat the air. And one of the fun things to do, especially at a glow, is stand right next to the basket, put your phone on slow-mo when they're, when they're doing right. the burners because it really is a great uh, visual. I would think so. There's some, with you. there's some insider tip right there about taking it, photos at the balloon rally, everybody. It is. There you go. I've never tried that, so now I have to go and try it. So that's a great idea. And then, of course, you couldn't have a rally in Durango unless you are flying balloons near the train. And the train ro rolls right through the field there, right? The open valley. We launch um, right next to the tracks there, and it's it's really beautiful. And so once they launch, you know, hang around because uh, when the train does come by, uh, you'll be able to see the balloons and the train in the same view, and it, it's it's spectacular. And it's a very unique thing, and we're lucky to be able to get that. Right, exactly. And there's another photo again from uh, from an earlier calendar, but again, as we mentioned, um, another calendar will be produced from photos from this year's rally, and there'll be calendars available for 2020 at this year's rally. That's right, and that uh, that's Tim's photo, Tim Walsworth. Uh, so Yvonne invites other people to contribute photos to the calendar, and his was uh, one of the ones that was put in a previous calendar, and it's a very nice shot. Right. And so um, I know you've been working at this rally for a while, and you know the Balloon Meister, um, who's been at the Balloon Rally, too. And so are there anything that's really different about flying at this rally than maybe like in Bloomfield or in Albuquerque? Do the air currents um, do different things around the mountains? I would think they would. They do, and um, so when you're in a mountain valley, that, that's a whole different dynamic. And at the pilot's briefing, that's discussed. These balloons that show up to this rally are by invitation only, which means they know this valley and um, are less likely to get in trouble because sure. the balloon can't go certain ways. I mean, if it does... Um, it, it's it's really not a good thing at all, and so. Uh, but they are so experienced, they can control that or watch for that because I know there are certain signs that a balloon pilot will watch for to know what the air currents are at the different elevations, right? As they're floating around up there. Well, um, the weather report is the first thing, mm -hmm. and then the first balloon that goes off is a pretty good uh, uh, haze setter, yep. and uh, you watch. They watch that, and they set off the pie ball before they launch. Anyway, that's the helium-filled black balloon that mm -hmm. shows at what elevation wind currents will change because you can control your flight going up and down and where the wind goes, and that's it. So uh, there, those um, techniques um, are how the pilots manage this, and um, almost always we go to the south from the launch point. So um, uh, very rarely does anything go north. Right. It, but it all depends on the winds, of course. And, it, but that's it, where the prevailing winds flow, I guess, in that is. valley. It is. It's a drainage. Um, yeah. And when the sun starts rising, you know, it's a little blustery. You watch the tops of the trees or flags, and you'll see trucks that have flags um, up on the back there. It helps them to see how much. And the launch cannot happen if the breezes are greater than a certain number seven or eight or whatever the number is. So, right, which um, is why you do it so early in the morning. I know when the winds are normally fairly calm. This is true, plus temperature. So mm -hmm. um, the cooler it is, the longer you can fly. And the hotter it is, and when your lift is based on the difference between the temperature of the air inside the balloon versus the outside, they give you the lift and all, um, it can't get 
more than a certain temperature before the heat inside the fabric starts damaging the fabric of the balloons. Right. So, it's such a science. It's so interesting to me to talk about this type of um, hobby that a lot of folks have and these pilots. I know they love to fly their balloons and get an opportunity to do this. And of course, as you mentioned, this is by invitation only. I imagine there's a lot of pilots that love to come to Durango and fly in this uh, Animus Valley. That's very true. And there's a list. Uh, and um, so the pilots that fly here are, feel very lucky that uh, they get to, to fly here. And so um, the there's a few other things I want to okay. really emphasize here. Yep. Um, all of these events are free to view. The public can come see anything that we're doing, uh, the launches, the glows. Um, the I've already talked about the Friday night, the glow will be downtown, and mm -hmm. Saturday evening, the glow will be um, at the launch site uh, for the morning launches. And um, so, you know, be at those places you know, six, six o'clock for the downtown one and, you know, by 6.30 for the, it depends on how much of the setup you want to watch. So, right. you know, sure. don't hesitate to go out earlier. Okay. Um, people, um, it is possible to be asked to jump in and get a ride. Um, and the ones who are, might get that privilege are those who come and volunteer down at the field. So um, if somebody's interested in volunteering, those clothing rules apply. Right, um, the no flip-flops and all no, that that you said. No yes. sandals, right. uh, long pants, um, and a jacket. Um, uh, and you need to show up on the launch field early, and um, you know, by... Right. Probably 7 in the morning or 8 by okay. the latest. And we're showing the website if folks would like more information or maybe to get information about how to be a volunteer. I bet they can find that on the website, the Animus Valley Balloon Rally dot com. And if it's not uh, obvious, they can certainly communicate through there. Mm -hmm. I also want to say that Saturday morning uh, there will be some free tethered rides for kids. Tether means um, it's tied off. It, it'll rise up but not very far right. when it comes right It comes back, back down, down to the ground. That's right. Yes, sir. And then um, out on the field and um, at the glows, uh, there's going to be a T-shirt truck. It's called T-shirts and Things, and they'll be doing rally shirts. And then we're having a glass blower come in from um, that Doug met at another rally, and he's going to – it's called Solar Flare. Okay. Glass. And he's going to do glass blowing demos, and I'm sure he'll be selling – uh, glass balloons and also lastly on my part I want to make sure that we um, acknowledge our major sponsors okay uh, that Do would that. be the Durango Silverton narrow gauge railroad the General Palmer Hotel country gas and United rentals those are our major sponsors that's a big deal and we really really appreciate their support that's true and I imagine because of them that's why you're able to keep all these events free for Absolutely. the public to come, right, and to see all these things for free. Well, and when you invite pilots to an event, you don't want them to be spending a lot of their money. I mean, these are licensed pilots. It's the same uh, right. category of license that an airplane pilot has. These are professional pilots. Um, some of them are commercial. Uh, a lot of them probably are. Um, and so the less they have to be out of pocket. Right. The, the better it is uh, for everybody. And we're able to um, feed them a lot, and we put together amazing pilot packs for each pilot, which is donated items that they just love. And, sure. Um, and then hotel rooms, and we appreciate all the hotels that have donated rooms towards the pilots. So right. I imagine you cut them a pretty good deal with the propane, too, their gas, right? Well, Country they, Gas donates well, there you go. propane, Even better. all of it. So... They're, they they just can't wait to come and do this for us, and we just love them to pieces for it. And they get a nice hotel room, too. So uh, it's a wonderful um, event, and it's, you know, like it's so uh, open and free to the public. I, I can't imagine why anybody wouldn't want to come down there and enjoy it. I think they should. So mark your calendars, everybody. It's coming up October 18th, 19th, and 20th in uh, Durango. Uh, the Animus Valley Balloon Rally, and again, the parking is going to be, um, remind us about the parking again, because on Friday, you've got to stay away from the school parking lot. That's right. So um, 
the two no's is don't park on the highway and Friday don't park at the school. Right. Uh, the major parking uh, word is um, on the field in the field on the south side of Hermosa Meadows Road and Highway 550. So there will be people in yellow vests to help direct okay. uh, parking, but they're not going to be running around on Highway 550 saying don't park over there. So um, that might be um, law enforcement that might, right. I don't know, but uh, don't park on the highway. Park uh, on the south side of the Hermosa Meadows Road and Highway 550. Okay. Very good. And I know um, there's a Facebook page, too, for folks who love Facebook. You can search for um, Animus Valley Balloon Rally or just go to, <clears throat> pardon me, Facebook.com, Animus Valley Balloon Rally, and you'll find it. And there's lots of good photos on the mm. on the website. All, the, all this information about what time the events are and where to go, it's all right there. Um, it, it's a very nice website. And um, we hope people will connect with that and with this event. It's a very lucky that we can have this. So Durango has two balloon rallies every year. Right. Snow down. That's right. The end of January, and then this one in the fall, which is just beautiful. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this one's warmer than the it snow is, down rally. It is warmer, <laughs> and you see lots of deer and elk. And, yeah, uh, that's right. So you know those who get to fly fly over all kinds of wildlife and beautiful colors and it's it's amazing it's going to be great well mary hayes thanks for coming in to tell us all about it appreciate it thank you for having me you're very welcome that's mary hayes everybody she is one of the committee members for the animus valley balloon rally coming to durango in october i'm scott micklin i'll be back with more in just a moment did you enjoy that podcast we hope that you did and if you did share it with your friends and if you really want to keep podcasts like this coming please support KSJE. You can do it easily online at ksje.com.